Well, folks, the Canadian CPI came in, quote unquote, lower than expectations. And it looks like everyone now is calling the peak in inflation. Here's the thing. Even with a few provinces scrapping the gas tax last month, and by the way, a few more have scrapped it as of July 1st, even with the fact that durable goods prices, cars, appliances, you name it, those prices have finally come way down last month because it looks like the supply chain issues that were affecting the world are in the rearview mirror now. Even with all that, the rate of change year over year was still higher than May. And we still have inflation being a geopolitical issue, and we still have a situation in Europe where Russia, I still think there's a big risk they'll cut off Europe from gas supply in the fall when they actually need it. Okay. So we have inflation still up, even with all the headwinds, and we still have inflation being a geopolitical issue, and we still have geopolitical risks, which create a bias upside inflation risk. So before reading too much into this number, let all that sink in, and inflation, even into next year, even when we're in a recession, inflation is going to be very sticky on the upside, to say the least. Have a good day, everyone.